Hey guys, welcome back to Topic Hop English. I am Matt, and normally I'm your English teacher, but today I'm going to change roles and be more of a guide, a guide for Western social media. When I joined Billy Billy six weeks ago, uh, I was looking through all of the different videos on the platform to try to understand a little bit better what you guys find interesting and funny. And it made me realize that I haven't uh, participated very much in my own social media uh, here in the West, and so I don't really understand what we find interesting and funny. So I've been looking at viral trends in the memes, the tweets from Twitter, and the videos from TikTok through my social media to see um, patterns, to try to recognize what we find funny here in the West right now so that I could explain it to you guys in a clear way and maybe help you understand a little better how the Western mind works. Uh, so stick around, it's a two-part episode, uh, and we are cracking the code, uh, exploring the psychology of Western social media. Stick around. Okay, so today's video, we're gonna look a little bit more closely at memes and tweets from Twitter. So memes and tweets play an important role in Western social media. They're powerful tools for social commentary, for humor, and for rapidly sharing information. Ultimately, they shape public opinion and reflect the spirit of contemporary trends and discussion. All right, so first we're gonna look at memes. You guys have these in China, so you know a little bit about them, I think, but memes are basically uh, clever perspectives on life uh, presented visually, uh, usually in very silly and simple packages. They're shared widely. They can become viral very quickly. And we're gonna analyze a few Western memes, uh, and we're gonna go deeper into why we think they're funny. Okay, so let's start with the simplest and probably the most familiar kind of humor that you'll find uh, on the internet, absurd humor. Of course, there is always the popular animal meme. People love these because they're easy to interpret quickly. They are universally relatable and they express a range of emotions through the safety of an animal uh, as the actor rather than a person. Let's get into some memes that are a little more specific to Western social media. Starting with dad joke memes. These fall into the wordplay humor category and basically they use a lot of puns, they have predictable punchlines, and they are generally non-offensive. These are the kinds of jokes that dads tell their kids. Here are some examples. And these jokes don't go out of style because they were never in style. And then we get into satirical or observational humor. These are the kind of jokes that stand-up comedians might use when they're pointing out uh, things from our everyday lives. Here are some funny examples of this. Sometimes it's products that we uh, make memes about. For example, these cartoonishly huge red boots released by fashion designer Mischief and priced at 2,500 RMB. Or the Apple Vision Pro, which became mean material because it's got an extremely high price. Uh, they resemble snorkel goggles. And while we're on the subject of products, let's look at another Western trend, the American Girl Doll meme phenomenon. American Girl Dolls were originally intended to give girls a toy, a doll that they could relate to, that had life experiences and features like theirs. They were there to help build self-esteem and identity. But recently there's been a wave of memes that show American Girl Dogs in authentic and sometimes awkward coming of age experiences that are relevant today. Okay, so stepping away from memes for a second, let's look at Twitter. People use Twitter, which is a microblogging platform, and uh, on the platform they express their opinions in short posts called tweets. And 
Uh, a lot of the tweets are in the satirical or observational humor category. The next group are part of a viral Twitter trend called he or she is a 10, but dot dot dot. And basically people compliment someone's looks by calling them a 10, but then they downgrade the person because of something very strange or unappealing about their personality. In English, we call these strange things red flags because they imply that something is wrong with the person. A quick side note since we're talking about satire and observational humor. There are, of course, plenty of memes and tweets about politicians and famous people that would fall into satire or social commentary. But I chose to leave those out on this video because I find them too controversial and really not very fun. Next, let's look at a category that's very characteristic of social media and always has been. And it really explains a lot about the subtext of Western culture. That is self-deprecating humor, which we can also call self-defeating humor. Sometimes it can even become dark humor, if there's more cynicism in it. Dark humor is incredibly prevalent in Western culture as a coping mechanism, allowing individuals to find humor in difficult or uncomfortable situations and help deal with stress and challenges in life. I'll give you an example. Mortality is a topic that we generally don't deal with directly in Western culture. We avoid discussing it or we make jokes about it, like this one. Do you guys in China know about the crazy Barbie movie obsession that we have right now in Western social media? For whatever reason, Barbie has become the single biggest internet star of the last year. The Barbie doll that the film is based on is generally seen as perfect and living in an idealized perfect world. But in the new Barbie movie, Barbie begins to develop actual human thoughts and emotions. And here's what she's thinking about. It's the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday and so is tomorrow and every day from now until forever. Yeah. You guys ever think about dying? We like Barbie because she is helping us face our greatest fears. Thanks, Barbie. Okay, so anger is another topic that we all experience, but in Western culture, we prefer not to deal with it directly. Let's talk about one of the most loved puppets of the past few decades, Elmo. He is on a show called Sesame Street that is super famous in the West, and he's extremely lovable as a character. But the online community has discovered that in previous episodes of the show, Elmo has a serious personal feud with a rock called Rocco. And we all find this feud with Rocco hilarious. So let's look at some examples of memes made about this feud. People like this feud because they can relate to the anger and jealousy that they see in Elmo. All right, so now that you are properly buried into the Western psyche, I think it's a good idea that we take a little bit of a break. Uh, but 
We've only just begun. Next week, we're gonna look at viral TikTok videos. We'll analyze some of those, and hopefully uh, uh, patterns will start to emerge in the humor that we're seeing across these two episodes. Because basically, viral trends reflect patterns, social patterns, and we understand these patterns. Uh, it helps us to understand a little bit more about the, uh, the mindset of, uh, of, in this case, Western social media and the people from the West. So uh, come back next week for the TikToks. Uh, I want to take a minute and thank um, my new fans. I've recently got a few comments on this new channel and I wanted to thank you guys. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and come back next week for more. Thanks for stopping by.